You're going on a journey. A journey through memory. All you have to do is follow my voice. I think audiences more and more are going to the movies to see something they haven't seen before. To be immersed in a world that they don't know. They want to go on a journey. Miami, in the not too distant future, it's a sunken world. In this place where there's so much chaos, there's a lot of nostalgia. Bannister owns a reminiscence machine, which enables people to relive their memories. It unlocks the full experience and transports you in time. You can really live that moment as if it's happening. In the reminiscence, I can feel his arms around me. Nothing compares. In this future, another drug is memory. Memory can be its own kind of addiction. The brain is a very confusing and potentially dangerous place, so my character is the person who takes you there to that memory so that you don't go down the wrong path. Memory can be really positive. It's got a destructive quality too. No, 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 put me back, put me back. I understand. Lisa is so well suited to project into the future and create stories that allow us to question whether we want to lose our humanity. There is a musicality to her writing and it's absolutely incredible. Lisa has taken questions of character and fate, memory, and turned them inside out, blown them to pieces and reassembled them in this breathtaking way. What attracted me was a movie that felt so original. I had no idea where this story was going. There's five or six turns you're not going to see coming. And yet she handles it so deftly that you are just following these characters on their journey. Where is she? Where is she? That machine of yours, how close can you get before the illusion's broken? All you have to do is follow my voice. Reminiscence. In cinemas August 20.